Let's take a look at the molecular geometry for the hydronium ion, H3O+. So we'll start with the Lewis structure. We have our Lewis structure here. We have three hydrogens bonded to that central oxygen, and then we have this lone pair up here. And the brackets with the plus sign, that just shows us that it's an ion. We can count the number of groups around that central oxygen to figure out what's called the steric number. So we have one hydrogen, two, three, and then we count the lone pair, so we have four groups attached to that oxygen. So then we can take a look at this table here and see that we have four groups as our steric number and one of them as a lone pair, one lone pair, that's trigonal pyramidal. And we have a bond angle of about 109.5 degrees. So this is a good table to memorize when you're doing molecular geometry. Let's take a look at the actual molecule and how it's shaped. So we start out with our oxygen atom here, and we're going to add three hydrogens. We add one hydrogen, we add the other. These push away from each other. We add a third. And right now, we have this kind of planar looking molecular geometry. But we have to remember that lone pair that was at the top of the H3O plus molecule. So let's put this lone pair up here, and you see how it pushes down the hydrogens. So now you have what's called a pyramidal molecular geometry, kind of like a pyramid. And this lone pair here, that's what's pushing these hydrogen atoms down. This bond angle here, 109.5, probably will be a little bit different because of the way the lone pair is pushing the hydrogens down. So that's the molecular geometry for the hydronium ion, H3O+. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.